In this video, I will show you interesting aspect of uh, Arduino simulation in Proteus. So that is, uh, think about um, three cases. Uh, first, you are simulating your um, Arduino sketch into Proteus. So now you want to see the output of the um, output of the graphs um, from the Proteus simulation to Arduino serial plotter. This one case. And next thing, you are simulating your Arduino sketch into Proteus. So you want to, um, so, so you want to apply some machine learning or deep learning uh, tools based on the Proteus simulation data into MATLAB. So in such case, you have to communicate with Proteus with MATLAB. And think, uh, the last case is you want to automate something. So you are using Python script. And in that case, you want to connect Python with your Proteus serial terminal. So in all cases, you can connect with different software through the serial terminal because Arduino has serial communication protocol and you can interact with any software through serial communication protocol. So for all cases, we need a virtual communication port so that we can connect one software communication port with another software communication port. So in this video, I'll show you um, this thing. Let me show you the demo first. So I'm simulating my Proteus sketch into, uh, sorry, I'm simulating a Prote Arduino sketch into Proteus. So, so I need to see the uh, output from the analog, uh, in, sorry, output from the analog um, potentiometer into my Arduino serial plotter, right? So let me show you the demo, right? So this is my data, right? And I, I can change my data. So I'm changing the potentiometer value and my data is changing. So I want, I want this change to see in my Protea, sorry, Arduino serial plotter. So I can do that easily by just opening serial plotter because I've already set up the whole thing, right? Yep. See, now, the value from this serial terminal and Arduino serial terminal is same. Just right. I'm changing the value and value is changing. And now I'll open serial plotter. Uh, this serial plotter. Now I can see my Proteus simulation data into Arduino serial plotter. This is so cool. And this and this technique you can use with any microcontroller or any embedded system development so that you don't need to do everything in hardware. You can do a, you can do the verification in simulation this is so cool right so in this way you can connect to proteus with any software you want to so in this video i'll show you how you can do that using a virtual com port because most of the virtual com port software are not free they are paid version but i'll show you with a free virtual com port and this is 100 percent free okay and i'm sure i with you and try to subscribe my channel and, and watch till the end because I will show you the whole process step by step. There are many virtual compost software so that you can connect one application with other application um, by the serial communication. But uh, I tried uh, two or three types. So most of them are paid version. So I'm a big fan of um, open source software. So in this video, we will leverage open source software. The software name is com0com. So this com0com will actually emulate the virtual communication port between two application. So this is very helpful. You have to download this um, from source boards or there you will find also a download link. Okay, so I hope you will download the link uh, from Sourcebox. That's better. You will find the link in the um, below the um, below the page. So after downloading the software, you have to install it, and the first thing you have to do is to create the connection, right? So let me first create the connection from here. So you have to add a pair, right? So after adding a pair, uh, here the name will be a pair. So I'm just changing the name com1 and the second one is com2 
two. So actually, this is um, the software is creating a pair. So this pair will be just um, the this is just creating a pair com one and com two, so that you will connect one tar one terminal of the virtual port with one software and another terminal of the virtual port and the software. So by this way, you can just create a tunnel in between two software for serial communication, right? So I will just now apply press on apply. So this will create a two communication port com one and com two. So I will use com one. On one software such as uh, Proteus and Com2 on and the software such as Arduino. So this is my um, basic uh, Proteus schematic, so that I can connect um, with uh, Arduino with a Proteus simulation. So I have also a link how you can um, just use a BRT Mega 328 Arduino um, Arduino Uno chip, right? So you need a comp pin. This is you can find uh, from the library. So let me show you how you can. This is actually connect your um, physical communication port with Arduino communication port. This is very helpful when you want to do connect another application with Proteus. So let me show you how you can find this one. So you have to go from uh, com pim. So this is the uh, this is the component you need to connect with your Arduino with Proteus. Okay, so after connecting, just see the connection diagram. This will just TXD will connect with TXD and RXD will connect with RXD. So this is uh, just different from the virtual com terminal, right? Okay. Okay, let me keep this on one side and keep the Arduino in another side. Okay, after connecting, you have to configure this one. Mm, okay, just wait for the window to pop up. Just double click on this one. Mm, okay, so you see here you have to select the physical ports. So we have created uh, a pair of ports. So the first one was COM1 and second one is COM2. So I will select the COM1 for uh, my uh, Proteus terminal. Com one right, and you have to also fix the baud rate. So nine six zero zero is the baud rate I fixed from my um, Arduino sketch, and eight is the physical data rate. Also, you have to fix the virtual data uh, baud rate because this is just creating a terminal with a Com one and Com two. So you have to you also have to um, fix the virtual baud rate. That should be the same as the physical baud rate. Okay, nine six zero zero. Um, virtual database and rest of the things the same so you have to just remember this one this baud rate and this one okay this is just crucial just press ok and after that I have just created a sketch uh, created a binary from this sketch so I have another video I will put the link in the description so that you can see how you can you can how you can generate a um, binary hex file from the Arduino sketch. So I already have created the Arduino sketch. That is the uh, hex file I've created. I'll put the link in the description. Okay. Now I will just load my hex file. Yeah, this one, right? Okay. So let me start the simulation first. And also second thing I have to do is to I have to fix the um, serial port that is COM2 because I have connected COM1 with the COM pin and I will connect COM2 with the Arduino pin. So this is the pair that means whenever the data will be passed through COM1 it will go into the COM2. Just remember this one when you are just creating a virtual COM port. Okay, I'm just running my simulation. See the so this is the virtual terminal you are seeing. I'm I will also see the same value from the Arduino side. Okay. See, so now I am seeing the same value um, in the uh, Proteus virtual terminal and Arduino real terminal. See, so this is the same value. Let me show you changing the potentiometer position so that you can realize that how I connected Proteus simulation with Arduino terminal.
So I'm changing the potentiometer value. Yeah, see, so I'm changing the value from zero voltage to five volt, and the value is changing. So this is so cool, right? So in this way also you can plot your uh, Proteus data into the Arduino serial plotter. So this is very helpful when you don't have Arduino board or you want to simulate the whole firmware into Proteus so that you can make sure your hardware is working and everything is working and your code is uh, your firmware is good to go. So this is why you can um, debug your system a lot. So I'm just opening Arduino serial plotter. See, the Arduino serial plotter, I'm also seeing the same value from the Proteus. So this is so cool, right? I'm changing value. Okay, I just need to um, zoom this up. Just right. So that you can see the change in. Just right, there is a spike in the value. See, the value is changing dramatically. This looks so cool, right? So in this way, you can connect with um, Proteus, with MATLAB, Proteus, with any programming language, Python, etc. So now you can simulate your whole system inside Proteus, uh, and you can simulate your um, whole system in Proteus, and you can analyze data in MATLAB or Simulink or uh, Python. So now everything is open for you. I think so now I think um, with this method you can just uh, simulate a big projects in Proteus and you can also uh, think about a situation you want to collect a lot of data from uh, real hardware but you don't have all the sensors and everything but you can um, build the hardware in simulation Proteus simulation and you can use data from their simulation to do some automation in Python or MATLAB scripts that's so cool right uh, that's all um just subscribe my channel and put your comment if, if you have any questions on that thank you